Tokimu Tolongku Aku So great Ota noe iso Ovalo lwa pela Wafusu moya wana Wangetu lumtualo Wangishia mutu Ovalo lwa pela Wafusu moya wana
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's clap for our master. Let's clap for our master. Let's appreciate the king of glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, we're still celebrating. Uh, it's one continuous, continuous, uh, happy 21, 21st anniversary to the womb that bet many rabbinites from all over the world. We're still celebrating the grace of the Lord. The fullness of God upon our life. We thank God Almighty for this wonderful day. We remain in one continuous blessed day of high glory, which the Lord God Almighty has given, made for us, so that we all will be glad and rejoice in it. Blessed saints, we welcome you all. We welcome you all wherever you are, whichever part of the world that you are right now. Be greeted. Messiah greetings to you, uh, those in the Africa continent. We say good morning and, and Messiah greetings to you. Uh, those in Asia, already we know that you, you've passed morning. Mon many of you are already in the evening. Many of you, some of you are in the afternoon. And already, some are already past midnight of uh, uh, of Sunday. Uh, we bless God and we greet you, be greeted. Uh, those in Middle East, the peace of the Lord be with you. Uh, in the ongoing unrest uh, uh, war that is ongoing in that part of the continent, uh, we are praying for all those who are affected. 
uh, every nation and all the neighboring countries that are within that region, we are praying. As we pray for Israel, we pray for Palestine, we pray for Pakistan, we pray for Syria, uh, we pray for Turkey, we pray for uh, Bangladesh, we pray for all the countries within that region, uh, the Bahrains, the Irans, the um, uh, Iraqis, we are praying for them, for the peace of the Father to be upon them, the peace that surpasses all knowledge, all understanding, to be made known to them, that they will see love instead of hatred, that they will see uh, uh, love instead of killing one another, uh, um, uh, the spirit of killing destruction that has taken dominion over the mindset of many, uh, we are being placed in a position, we are blessed and be divinely positioned uh, to pray for the will of God, uh, to reign over this country, to reign over this uh, continent. Remember uh, 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 Psalms 24, it says, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Now the full grace of the Lord has come upon those that are of Christ. Now we that are of Christ, we that are his remnant, we that he came to us and we accept him. John chapter 1 from verse 12. He said, to as many, to as many, meaning you and I, to as many who received him. And how did we receive him? We heard his word. We welcomed his word in our heart. And we made that word, we made that word our innermost reliable to go to. Meaning, one does not go to anything other than the word of God. One does not rely on anything other than the word of God. One who have accepted him is the one who relied solely on the word because the word of god is in our heart that's why jesus teaches us in matthew 12 he says from the heart of abundance the mouth shall speak what he has placed because he is the world that became flesh and dwell it is the world that became flesh and dwell so the world dwells in our heart so we are going to pray for peace we are going to pray for harmony we are going to pray for unity we are going to pray for love we are going to pray for kindness we are, we are going to pray for mercy we are going to pray for goodness to reign upon all the earth to rain upon all nations, all the continents. We pray for Europe. We pray for North and South America. We never forsake the Oceania, the Samoan Island, the New Zealand, the Australia, and all the Pacific all the pan pacific islands the islands that are, are far from here we are going to we are going to be uh, interceding for uh, for the will of God to reign in these nations. Uh, blessed greetings to you brothers and sisters. Uh, blessed greetings to you. This is Apostle Kenneth C.J. Chris of uh, Rabbanites International Ministries, uh, son of Prophet Sekodane. We thank God for this wonderful time that we are going to be having uh, as we are being placed uh, uh, to worship our King, to worship God in the beauty of His holiness. Uh, never stop worshiping, never stop giving God thanks. Uh, God is faithful, God is good, and, and, and God is love. And, and, and God remained God. He remained God over all things. He remained God over all things. No matter what it is that it, that you are, are faced with, God is above it. He remained God. And he is faithful. And he, he is faithful. I love you so much because in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, say, I have thought, I have planned for your life. I have thought of well-being. Thought of well-being. Without the word of God, one cannot be in a well-being. One state of mind cannot be at rest without the word of God. If there is no word of God in the heart of a person, one cannot have the state of mind. One cannot have rest. One cannot have rest. One cannot even understand what rest is. Uh, uh, um, so it is important. It is important for you. Uh, uh, it is important for you to to understand to understand this word. It is important for you to understand this word. If the word of the Lord is in upon in a person. Is one is overshadowed by the word of the Lord, it becomes easy for one to remain in the state, state of mind, meaning the well-being place of mind. It, you see, the peace of God come upon those who welcome him. And when Jesus appeared to his disciples, he said, peace be with you. Why? Their state of mind, they were in, they were in fear, the, 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 their, their minds were held captive by the thought of if they go out, they'll be dead. So they are living, they were living as if any evil can, can overtake them. Death can overtake them. Poverty can overtake them. So they were in fearfulness. They were in fearfulness. Now, when the Father came, the Prince of the Lord firstly brought about liberty. So his presence brought liberty. His friends came upon them and they were li liberated. Now, what was the second thing that happened? Immediately, the father says, uh, 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 peace, peace was the word, the first word that he spoke to them. Say, peace be with you. Now, when his friends came, they were amazed. 
they were amazed. Oh, oh. Immediately, they came out from uh, they came out from that fear. They came out from that fear. That fear that held them captive. They came out from that fear. Now they see the master. They see the master whom they knew very well, whom they were with, whom they were with. So they saw him now. Now they said to him now. Now they said to him now, ah, peace, peace be with you. Peace be with you. The father said, peace be with you. Peace be with you. And he continually in that reign by saying, I'm leaving you with this peace. I'm leaving you with this peace. So this peace is upon those who receive Christ. This peace is upon those who receive Christ. And this same peace makes one to be called children of God. Yeah, you see, the, 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 the sons of the Most High God, they are always at peace. They are always at peace. No situation can seize them. No evil darkness can reign over them. No evil form forge a plan against them can reign over their life, not prevail over their life. They are always at peace. Always at peace. And be at peace is when you are in a situation, you laugh over it because you know this situation cannot seize you. You say no temptation can seize you. No temptation can overwhelm you. No temptation can overtake you. So God, God is uh, faithful. God is love. Uh, God remain God. Uh, this morning, uh, we we are going to be praying, and we believe that um, wherever you are, at uh, the comfort of your home, we believe that the same grace that we are speaking of, the same grace that is speaking through our mouth, the same grace that has overshadowed our life, the same grace will fall mightily upon you, abundantly so, and you will begin to not only to speak in the fullness of the grace, but remain in the such grace so that every situation, no, none of those situations will begin to dictate how you walk in the Lord. Many situations, many, uh, many Christians and many people generally, uh, many are sundry from all over the world, allow a uh, uh, situation to dictate how their work should be in Christ. Uh, no situation should tell you how to pray. No situation should tell you when to worship. If you are at peace with the Father, you know that every time and every moment is a prayer moment. You know that every day of your life is a prayer moment. First Thessalonians chapter 5 says to us, we should pray without ceasing. Our prayer mustn't be seasonal. We pray without ceasing. And, and it's not about you getting down on your knee and pray. He said, go into your most holy, 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 holy. Say, your sacred place. Your sacred place, where no one sees you. Just as Jesus taught us. How did Jesus teach us this? Jesus often retired. He will leave all the uh, 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 multitudes, thousands, multitudes that follows, that follows him. Even his disciples included. He will leave them. Now, no one sees him. He has retired. He has gone to a, 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 a sacred place. And where no one sees him, where no one hears him, only the Father, only the Father, he goes and gives him thanks and say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. In John 6, they were looking for him after he had fed them. They were looking for him. They, don't, they do not know that he has retired to go and give thanks to the Father. Who provided for them? So he said to them, you were not looking for me because I was lost. You are looking for me because your stomach was full. So let us, let us, let us not be controlled through situation and, and abandon the teaching that we have received from our glorious master, Jesus Christ. They pray without season. Let not our prayer be seasonal. We ought to pray at all times. We ought to pray at all times. The meditation also is a form of prayer. Meditation is a form of prayer. When, when God said to Moses, uh, to Joshua, uh, in Joshua 1, Joshua, my servant, do not let this word leave you do not let this world to depart meaning do not let the communication you don't let the communication prayer to communication so every time you are meditating you are praying you are giving thanks and what 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 does that makes you it makes you to see and to remain and to be in the reality because meditation is calling the things of God to reality upon your life. So we continue to meditate on the word and, and meditation is also a form of prayer. So never stop meditating and never stop praying. So right now, blessed saying, as we are going to pray, I'll be handing over to uh, uh, my sister, uh, Apostle Jazri, as she will be taking us through a uh, 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 you know, prayer of intercession and leading us through intercession. Uh, we we thank God as we are about to uh, uh, be led to prayer. Uh, uh, may the King of Glory be with you. Uh, uh, wherever you are, blessed saints, 
and uh, uh, join us as we as we as we uh, as we will be led to this to have this wonderful time of our prayer. It is uh, wonderful to pray. It is wonderful to pray. It is wonderful to pray. It is glorious to pray. Uh, um, it is beautiful to pray. And and we trust God that um, as we are as we are about to pray right now, you in your home, you at home, you also you will make it a point to join us as we all be praying together after we might have received the message and be led by the Spirit of God. So I'm adding over to you, Apostle Jazri. Thank you so much, my sister. God loves you. God is with you. Uh, uh, do uh, do take over the best to prayer. Amen and men. Let's clap hands. Let's clap hands for our Father. Let's clap hands for the Apostle of Grace. Let's pull late. As we say, happy birthday to Raboni Center Ministries. Wow. 21 years of Max. Hallelujah. Thank you, viewers at home. I'm greeting you. I'm Apostle Jezri from Rabonite International Ministry and our father, Professor Liseho Daniel. We love you, Daddy, as you celebrate 21 years in the ministry. We love you so much. My brothers, my sisters, I love you all over the world. You know, in Christ, we are one. When uh, our creators see Humanity, you see oneness. You don't see any color, you don't see any black, you don't see any white, you don't see any Indian. You see his oneness. For when he created humanity, he so said, let's create man into our image. What is the image of God? The image of God. No one can say he is in triangle. He is in this is round, amen. But we know one thing that he is spirit, so we are spirits. We also know one thing that the spirit has got no color. <laughs> amen. You don't get yellow, you don't get blue spirits, amen. That is why we are one. When we pray, we pray the prayer of oneness. Hallelujah. We pray the prayer of knowing that I'm praying for my own. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are praying for my own. You pray for your own. When you are praying for your neighbor next door, you don't say he's a Muslim. Hmm? Hmm? You pray for the soul that was created according to the image of the Father. You pray according to your image. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Jesus. You pray according to your, to the will of the Father. Amen. When the Holy Spirit dropped this in my spirit, I said, Lord, when I look at a white person, I look at myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. When I look at a black person, I look at myself because in the realm of the spirit, we are one. In the realm of the flesh, we can be blue, yellow, purple, but God see oneness. That's why when we pray, we pray with love. We carry that love of oneness. When we pray, we don't say, Father, kill this one, destroy this one. No, we say, Lord, let that soul be saved. Thank you. We are going to pray. I'm not going to be long. I'm going to quickly to go to the book of Isaiah 54. Amen. Let's quickly look at the book of Isaiah 54. Let's start from verse 15. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. And when we are praying, I want us to 
pray according to the will of the master. Hmm? Hmm? You know, in the kingdom of darkness, they have wills. Hallelujah. When they go and bow unto their altars, they are told not to do this, do this, go this way, and they follow that direction. We are going to obey our master because he says, pray without ceasing. Pray for the poor, a rich man. Hallelujah. Mark 20. He went to Jesus. He said, Lord, what can I do to be like you? Hmm? To read all the versions, There's a ver there, there are different versions. Some they put it to say, he said, you look beautiful. You look good. I want to be you. I want to be like you. Hmm? It's a rich man. This man has, has everything. This man has money, has, uh, but when he saw our master, Jesus Christ, he, he desired the beauty that he sees. Oh, he saw that what this master has, I do not have this kind of beauty and goodness. But he, when he was given the key to reach this beautiness, he was painful because he could not give away his idols. He could not give away what he treasured. Hallelujah. Let us not be like that a rich man. Let us not pray, but we, 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 we do not follow. Also, I wonder us when we pray, we enter this throne of grace with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. We're saying that's what. Let's enter with thanksgiving. You know, when I saw rain in Houghton, I said our prayers is answered. Amen. <clears throat> I said, Lord, our prayers is what is answered. Because I saw what they desire, what could not come out. And I saw our prayer when we say, Lord, creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of glory. Water is waiting for us to manifest. Hallelujah. And it manifested. Hallelujah. Can you read quickly Isaiah 54 from this 15? <coughs> Sorry. We are reading from the book of Isaiah 54, verse 15. If any nation comes to fight you, it is not because I sent them. Whoever attacks you will go down in defeat. Verse 16. I have created the blacksmith who fans the coal beneath the forge and makes the weapons of destruction. I've created the armies that destroy, but in the coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will, Amen. You will silence every voice mm. raised up to accuse you. Amen. Hallelujah. Behold, see, open your eyes. I don't want you to pray with blindfolded eyes. The word of God reads, behold, see that they may gather against you. There might be a gathering against you. <laughs> hey, what's yam? I've got a little time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They might gather against you hmm? and stir up strive. I'm reading from King James Version. But it is not from me, child of God, you are going to pray. I don't want you to pray with anger. I don't want to pray with frustration of what you are going through. Because our father said, it's not 
from him. They are gathering, it's not from him. Hmm. Listen, the apostle said, uh, when he was speaking, he said, Jeremiah 29, he has plans for you to prosper you, not to harm you. This gathering that is sitting against you, it is not from your father. We are going to pray. This gathering that is sitting against your brothers and sisters all over the world, it is not from him. They might try to justify it with lots of scriptures, but he says it is not from him. I want you to pray against it, knowing that that is not from our master. Amen. Look at verse 17. He is saying, but no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Let them gather against you, but no weapon that is formed against you, it shall prosper. Hmm? He don't say they will not gather, but they will not prosper. Hallelujah. Why is the father saying it is not going to prosper? While you are seeing the gathering. Hallelujah. They are gathering on the sky, on the land, under the sea, under the waters, under the ground. They are gathering against you. But the Lord says it will not prosper. How? You know, let's, let's just continue. Let's just continue. He says, You shall pro that and no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Hmm? And every tongue, you see, every tongue, hallelujah, every tongue that shall rise against you in conjunction of judgment. You shall you that shall show to be in the wrong. Mm? You shall silence it. Hallelujah. You shall do what? You shall silence it. I want you quickly to read verse 17. Verse 17. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Mm. But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. No weapon. Mm. You will silence every voice raised up. Hey, you. you are going to silence every voice that is raised against you to accuse you. We are going to pray and silence every voice that is accusing you. And remember that you are a child of God. You are in oneness with your neighbor. When you silence your the, the accusers of your neighbor, you are silencing the, your accusers. Eh? Are you hearing me? Are we together? Are we together? Those tongues, you know, they, 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 they gather against you. They accuse you. They say he's like that. He has done this. He don't qualify because of one, two, three. Romans 8 says, therefore, there is no condemnation against those who are in Christ Jesus because the law of the spirit of life has set us free from the law of sin and death. So what kind of accusation are they using against you? Mm? What kind? What kind? Because now there's none. There is none. Do not cage yourself, child of God, and say, my sister, my brother, they are going through because of one, two, three, four, five. Don't condemn them. For now, there is no condemnation. I want to say now, as you are sitting, as you are going to intercede, now, 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 there is no, no, now, no, now, no condemnation again against them, call them forth for the salvation of their souls. 
Jesus. Oh, the enemy wants us to, to see us destroyed. The enemy is fighting God to you. Hallelujah. But the one that the enemy is fighting through us, he says, I give you the power to condemn, to put to silence. They are under your feet. They cannot harm you. Andele can do the lenda lia ata. Mama malende le 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 boshia. Andele can munde le can munda. Akunde le busa kalia. Andele boboshia ata kamando. Arekende le bosita kamande le bobosika. Atu kalia andele bosia ata kamando. We say no weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, come on the leader ata kalia andole bosha. We silence every time. That is raising against the children of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As I hand over to my father, Apostle Kenneth Chris Makutalia Atta. Rekete liba basita kamande. Rekete le bobo shikalia. Rende le bobo shakata. Ika liba suta kamande le bosha. Apostle Kenneth Chris take over. Ika liba baba basuta. Akuta liya ata. Mande le bobo shika. Zekete liba baba yende le bobo. Mande le bobo. Le bre en satura ambra. Le kadushi sure li bre en satusi kure embra enti. Le debra dishi sure li takura. Libre in the push at the atom, the shatata sure libre in the secura, je de bradis de sibra hunt the cura libre in the secura, the shatata sura libre kiss at the atom, the shatatita pushes zimbra husa ila ila push libre in the tour embra kaata, the katata sush the sura, libre kelesh din sadush sura libre kiss at the atom, rekete te sura, rekete te lire, the de bradis is tita sura libre his the kaata. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, we worship you. Abba Father, thank you for your faithfulness, thank you for your goodness, thank you for your kindness, oh Lord. Thank you for the grace that you have given to us, oh thank you for your goodness, oh Lord. For it pleases you for us to have your goodness, oh Lord. Thank you for the world that has placed in our hearts, oh Lord. But we speak from the heart of abundance as we continue to arrest and, and seize every evil mouth raised against the people of God, oh Lord. Every evil meeting, every evil gathering over the life of the people of God. We nullify every evil activity perpetrated over the life of the people of God, O Lord. We pray for those that are under the subjective, subjective of evil of addiction. Every evil of addiction that has been made against them, O Lord. Addition of laws, addition of smoking, addition of drugs, addition of alcohol, addition of immorality. We pray for their mind right now. Every evil of addition that has held them captive, that glory of the Lord comes upon their life. The unfolding glory of the Lord that comes upon their body, setting them free, uprooting all the righteousness from their life right now. Etibra kushi sure libra kaanta. Letisha tibra dushi sure. Lebre debre deshi sita kure libre ke enti. Ribra kushi sira lita kure hebra. Leka ta 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 sura. Leka ta 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 lira. Reke te te lisha tika dushi dure libre kisha ke enti. Eshe tibra ka ante. Eshe tibra ka ante. Le kushi sure libre disha tibra kure enta kalira. Leke dibra kusha. Leke dibra ante. Le debre dushi sure libre deshi sura. Reke te 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 sura. Reke te 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 lira. Reke te 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 
Elisha Sita Kure Libre Desi Sura Habraka Ente Rekush the Sura Libre Kanta. We pray for all the afflicted centers, oh Lord mighty God. We pray for all the children, all the youth, all the boys and girls that have been placed in that center. And we pray for the guidance, those who are watching over them, oh Lord. We pray for their hearts to remain in faith of your word, to remain in faith of your glory, to remain in faith of your prince, oh Lord. We pray against every corruption. We pray against any element of corruption, every seed of corruption that might have been planted into their heart. Every borrowed mind that they might be given to their heart. We pray against it, oh Lord. We uproot every nature of borrowed mind. We uproot every nature of corruption seed that might have been planted into their heart, oh Lord. As we stand against human trafficking, Every network, every syndicate behind human trafficking be exposed. The light of God shines upon upon every offense center. The light of the light of God shines over the people of God. We pray for those who have been abducted from their friends, from their family, from their well wishes, all that wherever they've been taken to, whichever dungeon they've been placed. Oh, Jaka. The light of God set them free right now. The light of God approach the light of God approved them out. 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 We pray for those that are in hospital, Lord God Almighty. Whatever sickness, whatever disease, whatever infirmity, whatever kind of affliction it may be, it's those who the doctors and the medical professionals they've given up. They say to them they don't have no answer. They have no answer for what they are feeling. They have no answer for what they are going through. Lord God Almighty. Your word is alive, O oh Lord. Your word answer everything. Nothing, nothing falls short from your word, O oh Lord. Nothing that your word cannot do, O oh Lord. Thank you for your word that has been sent into all our spirits, O oh Lord. Bring in life upon all lifeless body. Kalish the zebra hunter sakure. Bring it up upon all of the states. Ishaka ibra kushi sure libre hente. Reki ibra dushi sure libre ka anta. Leke te 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 sura. Leke te 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 lira. The word of the Lord penetrate upon every hospital from all trauma. Unit to every ICU to all the maternity wards, the light of God approved every nature of sickness. Those that always run to hospital, mighty God, those that the medical professionals could not detect what is wrong in their body, oh Lord, the light of God pierced through that body right now. The light of God pierced into that organ right now. Every sickness, every diseases, every infirmity, no weapon of the enemy, no weapon of sickness, no weapon of disease, no weapon of poverty, no weapon of infirmity, no weapon of affliction done against you that will prevail over your life. The light of God set you free. The offering of grace for the set you free right now. Be lifted out from that circumstance. Be lifted out from that failure. Be lifted out from that poverty. Be lifted out from that trouble. Be lifted out from those trouble. Be lifted out from those problems. Be lifted out from that infirmity. Be lifted out from that diseases. Be lifted out from that sicknesses. We pray for the nations, oh Lord. We pray for the leaders, Abba Father. The world belongs to you, oh Lord. We are praying for peace, upon where nations are facing war. We pray for all the women and children that has been killed unjustly. We pray against the evil wickedness of killing, stealing, and destruction over the, over the people of God, O oh Lord. We are praying for peace, Almighty oh God. We pray for the world. We pray for Africa as a continent, O oh Lord. Let there be unity in Africa, O oh Lord. Let the love of God reign in Africa. We pray for Europe, O oh Lord. We pray for oneness. We pray, Almighty God, against every law that comes from the flesh, every law of men, oh Lord, we pray and stand against the spirit of homosexuality, mighty God. Ah, Kalush, the Sibra Kure, the Kalira. Le kalusha si kadure hembra kisha kete le kumra lisha hunda kure hembra kusha kante le kalusha sure hembra kasha dure ena kuta i kata kusha sure hembra kaa i kalusha si kahanta suka e kelebra kusha sure hembra kante we stand against the spirit of sodomity in our nation in all the countries in all the world eka i shatita kure hembra kusha kante that law that came from the heart of Hebrew at e kalusha sure hembra kante we nullify that law i shatakur 
Kanura Hempra Kusika Enti, Ekusta Sipra Kusika Enti Sakanura, Jete Lista Sipra Hanta, Jete Libra Dushi Sura Libra Kisika Enti, Rekibra Dushi Sura Libra Kanta, Eleketete Sura Libra, Eleketete Zimbra Dushi Sura Hebra Kisika Anta, Ekista Sita Pura Libra Kisika Enti, Ekalura Libra Kisika Enti, what you love, we love as your children of love, what you ate, we despise as your children, mighty God, what despise as fruit of sodomity in our country, in our nation, Ika Lusha Kibra Hente, Eka Lusha Sibra Kure Libra Hente, Rika Dusha Sura Libra Kaanta. We pray for all the leaders, O Lord. We pray against political unrest that is happening in all the continent, Isha Kahambra Kure Embra. May the peace of the Father reign upon the hearts of the leaders, O Lord. We dedicate all the leaders, all the present, those in the position of authority, those CEO, those directors, those COO, my Ika Lure Embra Kaanta. We pray for the presence of companies, O Lord, private and public institutions, O Lord. We pray for all the schools, all the learners, Akusha Sibra Hente. We pray for all the learners, oh God, mighty God. We pray for their heart, eh, Shatibra Hata Sura, that that causes fear, the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of anxiousness, oh Lord, that causes fear in their heart, oh Lord. We uproot such from their lives, we uproot such from their mind, we uproot such from their body, oh Lord, and then we lift them up before your presence, oh Lord. We fill them with your presence, oh Lord. We fill them with liberty. Eh, Kalishta Sibra Kaante, El Akusha Sura Libra Deshe Kalure, we give you all the glory, Abba Father. We magnify your holy name, Lord. For there is none like you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, Abba Father. As I hand over back to my sister, Apostle Jasper. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Mm. <laughs> we thank you for your love, O oh God. Oh, when you saw us, you saw love. Thank you, Master Jesus. Mm. Do us at home. Now, now, now. There is no condemnation, my Jesus. There is no condemnation for whoever you pray for. Watch and see the manifestation of your prayer. All things are possible to him. Hallelujah. We thank you for praying with us. We thank you for standing on the gap. We thank you for sacrificing this time and praying for the whole world, for the leaders of the world. Because we want to see leaders who will stand for righteousness. We want leaders who will stand and condemn the persecution against the children of the promise. <laughs> We are the children of the promise, hallelujah. We are the children of the promise. For we are the royal priesthood. Thank you for praying with us. Thank you for manifesting. Thank you for condemning. Thank you for silencing. That authority has been given to you, hallelujah, to silence every gathering. We are going to go to the world. Hallelujah. I'm going to give back to my father. Hallelujah. Who's going to feed us through the word of righteousness. Amen. The word. Because we are nothing without hearing from him. We are nothing from hearing from his voice. We are nothing from being mandated and aligned with him. Amen. 
Let's clap hands and I pray that whoever you pray for, that prayer is permanent. That testimony is permanent. That uh, that silencing you were doing is permanent. That praying against war, nation fighting against nation, neighbors fighting against neighbors, colleagues fighting against colleagues, church members fighting against church members. You have silenced it and it is gone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's clap hands as we give back to Papa, our Father, our Father, Apostle Kenneth, CJ, Chris, Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen. Ancient of days, as old as you are, and as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, and as old as you are, you will never change. He is the Lord God Almighty. He changed not. Numbers 23 verse 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie. He changes not. What he says he will do, he will do. And as we have been led into prayer of intercession, and we have declared that no weapon of the enemy, no weapon from the mouth, no weapon from the gathering, no weapon of meeting, no weapon of any kinds that has been used against you, it will never prevail because the word God Almighty that is above all, the word God Almighty that is above all, the word, the word that is above all, that is in your heart, has prevailed. Jesus Christ says to us, take heart. We have already overcome. For he overcame for us. We thank God, blessed viewers. We thank you, everyone. We thank you so much. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, sisters. Uh, thank you, men and women of God. Uh, indeed, we are one. Uh, we do not go by the name of the ministry, uh, for the, the, name, the name itself, uh, it is it's just for our, our symbolic. Uh, what counts is how, how we are bounded, and we are bounded by the love of the Father. And it is the love of the Father that needed us to make us one. And so in him, we are one, one from the heart of the Father. So we thank you so much for praying for us. Uh, thank you for praying with us, and thank you for allowing yourself to be a vessel unto honor. Truly, uh, as uh, uh, the woman of God have rightly said, many lives have been transformed. Uh, many lives has changed because of your prayer. So we give God the glory. Let's appreciate our King. Let's appreciate our Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, um, once again, I'd like to acknowledge everyone. Uh, still extending the greetings from our Father. And we are, we are still celebrating uh, one continuous day of 21 years of persecution, uh, 21 years of hard press. Uh, uh, without uh, Rabboni Center Ministries, uh, Rabbonite International Ministries wouldn't have existed. Uh, so in that 21 years, uh, the thought of us was in that 21 years. Uh, the thought of uh, our True Shepherd Ministry was in that uh, 21 years. Uh, the thought of Fountain of Worship Center Ministries was in that 21 years. Uh, uh, the, thought of, the thought of Time of Life Center Ministries was in that 21 years. Uh, you see, the, also, uh, the, the, the thought of uh, 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 Prophet Raymond Mukazi also was in that uh, uh, 21 years. So I'm saying all the sons and all, all, all the uh, rabbinites from all over the world, in that 21 years, you were in that thought. You were in that thought. You were in that thought. Jeremiah 29, I have thought, I have planned for your life to prosper you, not of evil, of well-being, of peace. So in that 21, remember... The, the persecution that, that uh, the father faced was for, for our own sake. So that when it come, you've already overcome because he overcame it more, more, more than 2,000 years ago. Even 21 years ago, he overcame it. So no situation will seize you. 
No situation will seize you. First uh, Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 13 to 15. No situation can seize you. For God, who watches over you, is faithful. He will not let you go beyond what your body cannot bear. He is faithful. He is faithful. So we thank God for the beautiful message of intercession that we receive. And I, I love it so much because when you flip to uh, uh, Isaiah 53, before, this, uh, before chapter 54, there was a message there that uh, uh, Prophet Isaiah said. And when this message was spoken of, uh, the prophet of God was receiving a vision from God, meaning that Christ came to him in a vision as God is planning for his own people, for his own remnant, those that God spoke of to Moses in the time past. And when this vision, the Christ came to Isaiah, Isaiah said, Lord, who will believe our reports? Who will believe our message? Who has been given this message? Who has been given this report? Now, listen to this. Remember, we just uh, we just uh, came out from the prayer of intercession right now. And as, our, as our, um, um, our sister was saying that, as our sister was saying that, amen, hallelujah, glory to God. As our sister was saying that, Listen, she said, no weapon of the enemy formed fashion against you will prevail over your life. Now, who has believed that no weapon used against you, formed against you, fashion against you will not prevail? It, it, do you believe that no weapon used against you can, can reign over your life? This is, this is one, one of the things that, that trouble our Christian hearts today. Many fear the works of the enemy. Many fear whatever message that was sent to them. I mean, I mean, you find yourself uh, said uh, you find yourself in the position when somebody said, "I cost you, I cost you," and immediately it's not even the words that the person used against you that causes you to panic. It's because you hear, "I cost you," it's because you hear, "I cost you." But now you believe such, such message. More than the message of truth, more than the message that set free, more than the message that give life, because in the message of Jesus Christ, listen, what was revealed to Isaiah that he was saying there is what Jesus said in Luke 4, verse 18. So the spirit of the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to set the captives free, to deliver the oppressed, and to bring good news. So you are believing bad news. You are believing bad reports. You are believing, you are sowing to bad reports. You are giving in to bad reports. But it was good news that Jesus Christ came to give to us, which is the plan of God, the ultimate plan of the Father for our life. Isaiah was saying, Isaiah was saying, look at, look at, look at Isaiah. Who has believed our message? Who has believed our report? Now, to whom has this been revealed to? Now, before you believe, it must be revealed to you. If this has not been revealed to you, it is impossible for you to believe. You cannot believe what you do not know, what you do not see, what you do not receive from your heart. Now, what was revealed? What was revealed? Now, Jesus came. Now, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Jesus came. Now, he came. It's the word that became flesh. In John chapter 1, it says, in the beginning, before all things, I'm talking of before Isaiah, before Adam, before all the prophets of old, before all things, the world existed. The world, Christ. And, and, and who is Christ? Who is the world? He is the anointed of God, the Messiah. He was there before all things. And all things came through him. So what are, what are these things? A fear, good, evil, everything came through him. Without him, nothing, nothing, nothing could have, could have existed or stayed. Nothing could have existed or stayed without him. So now he that came now, now listen to this. He now came to his own and his own did not accept him. Now verse 12, I love you so much. Can we just uh, take it from verse 12? John 1, why we are, why we are it? John 1, we can start from verse uh, from verse 12. 
just gonna read quickly with the amplified version. Okay, John chapter one. Listen to this. This is saying. I'm starting from verse twelve. He said, "He said this." All right, let me just start from verse eleven. He came to what? He came to that which he belonged to him, to his own, to his own. Who has this been revealed to? When Isaiah said, "Who believe our message? Who believe our message?" Remember, he was a prophet of old. He was speaking, teaching. To whom has the outstretched mighty arm of the Lord has been revealed to? Who? Who? Now, when he came to his own, his domain, creation, things, world, and they who are his own did not receive him and, and did not welcome him. Now, verse 12 says, But to as many as did receive and welcome him, he gave, listen to this, he gave the authority. He gave the authority. Now, in that authority, we had power. We had privilege. We have rights. I want you to understand something. Power, privilege, right. Now, let's, let's, let's go back to 2020. When laws are being decimating and being passed out, and here comes our father, Papa Le Sekodane. He did not even, I love you so much because he, he did not write to say, I'm not part of this, I'm not part of this. What he said, okay, pass your law, but let's see if your law will stand. Let's see if your law will stand. Meaning there, there was two authority. There's authority from below and there's authority from above. Which one is great? Of, I mean, do I need to spell it out? Authority from above, are you authority? Power, privilege, power, privilege. Meaning, meaning the one that has dominion, over the one from below, as Matthew 8, Centurion Man says, you are authority, as he is also authority. But now you have power over me. You have power over me. But the people who are with him, they could not descend this. They could not understand what is the Centurion Man saying, because they are afraid. They were afraid. Ah, he's a captain in the Roman army. You cannot say anything. He can do whatever pleases. He can do whatever he likes. And no one can raise the voice against him because he's the captain in the Roman army. But now, here comes when the Roman army had an encounter, he had to confess and says, no, you are of high authority. You are of high authority. Immediately, he said, you are of high authority. So get this now. He says now, verse 12, but to as many as did receive him and welcome him, he gave the authority, power, privilege, right to become the children of God, right to become the children of God. That is to those who believe. Remember what our prophet Isaiah said, who has believed, who has believed to those who believe adhere to trust in and rely on adhere to trust in and what rely on if you are not relying on the word of the lord meaning you do not trust god if you have not made the word your trust and your trust and meaning you have not trust your, your trustee your go-to i was saying in the beginning that if your if the word of the lord is not womb it's not whom and where you go to, to source for life, meaning you are yet to trust in God. You are yet to trust in the finished work that our glorious master Jesus Christ did on, your, on, on our behalf. Meaning you are yet to believe that message. That good news that he has came to give us, you are yet to believe in that good news because you've not made this word to, to have anything in your heart. The world becomes flesh, animals dwell in us. That is why we are called the light because he is the light. When you start from the beginning of the year, he is the light. He is the light. He is the light of this world. He is the light. And that light must shine from within us. Wherever we go, wherever we step, the light in us must illuminate. It must shine. It must shine. Now listen to this. Verse 13 says, who owe their bets neither to blood nor to the will of the flesh, that of physical impulse, nor to the will of man, that of natural father. Listen, 
That's why we keep praying for many who, has, who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior to not continually entangle themselves with any ancestral ceremony. You've given your life to Christ. What fellowship do you see have with whom you, whom you do not have any lineage with? Once you've given your life to Christ, if you become his and it becomes yours. His blood now cleanses you. Now, it's, it, it, speaking of the blood, is the cleansing, purifying that sanctifies you or, or completely. Now, that's, that sanctification comes from within. He said in Romans uh, 8, when you take it from verse 1, it says no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. But now from verse 14 to 16, it says now, the spirit that we have received, the spirit that we received, it says now, it is no longer, but of Abba, crying Abba, Abba, Father. So your true father, what made you sonship to the father? What made you to have an attestment to say, Father, and Father knows when you call. Father knows when you speak. Father knows when you pray because the Father is in you. You cannot pray to God if the, if the Spirit of God is not in you. That's it's as simple as that. The Spirit of God, the Word of God must be in you. So when you pray, the Father knows. See, get what Jeremiah was, uh, Jeremiah was asked by God in Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 10. Get what he was asked. What he was asked there. Jeremiah, what is it that you see? Meaning God has finished the work. There's no need for God now to go and start doing. Or when somebody asks, then God, God will know. You mean, it means you do not understand when Jesus says, it is finished. It is finished meaning that every trouble, every situation, it is finished. That's why when he presented us, I, I'm going to say us, because we are we were included in the disciples. When, when he presented us before the Father in John 17, what he said, to the father was, father, in John 17, I did not ask. That was before he went to the cross. I did not ask for them to be taken. Here are they, those whom you have entrusted with me, because the father that I gave, those whom you have entrusted with me, I did not ask for them to be taken. So what I'm finishing on the cross, they must witness it. They must witness it. They must go through it. They must go through it because it will not harm them. It will not overcome them. It will not overpower them. But they will walk through it and no weapon of the enemy that is formed against them that will prevail over their life because it is finished. Now, get, get, now listen to this. Verse 14 says now, and the world Christ became flesh, human incarnate and tabernacle human incarnate and tabernacle. See now, you have a tabernacle in. That's why you need to seize yourself from entertaining and stop entangling yourself, your temple with ancestral uh, connection. Uh, yes, I just want to do it to please the family. No, you are pleasing what, what is not pleasing before God. How can you be pleasing what is not pleasing before God? Is that, um, is, is that a, 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 um, a service of Abba Father? Is that a service that revealed God? Meaning, what was revealed to you, the vision that was revealed to you, you did not uh, give yourself into that vision. You did not sow, sow yourself into that vision. You do, it says, what kind of fruit comes out from a, a communion or from a fellowship from the, from, from the world? What God do not like? you like, meaning you are against the will of the father in your life because you cannot entertain what your father does not entertain. God is jealous of his oneness. So you can't carry his word and still entertain what does not please his presence. There's a tabernacle in us. That's why, listen to the mystery of Matthew 6 when Jesus said, go into your most holy sacred place to go and pray. Remember, he taught them how to pray first before he said, go into your most holy sacred place. He taught them to say, our father who art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, thy kingdom is in us. Thy kingdom is in us. Thy kingdom is not in a building. It's not in a country. It's not in a continent. It's not anywhere but in us. 
in us, in us. That is the good news that we have received from the Father to set the captives free, to deliver the oppressed, the kingdom, righteousness, peace, joy, and the Holy Ghost. That is the functionality of a true believer, one who is in Christ, one who is in Christ, whose life is hidden in Christ with God. That is your functionality. You operate in that dimension. You walk in that line. Because it pleases the Father to allow his fullness. So the authority that creates, let there be light. The authority that creates men, that authority is in you. The authority to say to darkness, be seized with your activity. That authority is in you. The authority to say, you evil doers, I end your activities right now. That authority is in you. Because the authority that creates them, the authority that brings them to, to, to life, that authority is in you. Now listen, what do I mean by this? We understand them. Yeah? The same Isaiah. Okay, let's rush back to Isaiah. Let's rush back to Isaiah quickly. Just want to read something here. Uh, Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. Now listen to this. Verse 7. He says, I form the light and create darkness. Out of darkness, I call for the light. So I form the light out of darkness. I create darkness. I make peace, national well-being, which is the plan of those who receive him, those who are his. This, this is the plan. Now listen to this. I make peace, national well-being, and I create, and I create physical evil, calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. Now, 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 if you have received him, the Lord who does all these things, the same authority, the same authority, Romans 8 verse 11, he says, if the same spirit that raised the mortal body of Jesus Christ now dwells in you, you too, you too, you yourself, you will operate in the dimension that God has planned for you. What hinders one from being operational? What hinders one from being functional? What hinders one from operating in the way that God sees you? It is because of what you connect with your mind. It is because of what you connect with your eyes. It is because of what you've sown to your heart. You've sowed wickedness. You've sowed unbelief. You've sowed unfaithfulness into your heart. Now you've caused yourself not to be in right standing. That righteousness right now has been in that. But it's been there. It's been there. It's been there. It's been there. But you, do, you, you, you chose not to see it because you believe in your trouble more than the righteousness that set you free. You believe in your situation more than the finished work that the master has done for us. You believe that the trouble will seize you more than what he has done for you and I. That's why you fail to see his true, his true reflection within you. Because when God, as you read an intercession uh, message, when God looks at you, he wants to see himself, not race, not color. It's because it's in the heart. It's not about the color of your skin, but in your heart. That's why Matthew 12 says, from the heart of abundance, who you have believed and received and welcome, you adhere to his word, you trust in his word. From the, from the heart of abundance, your mouth, your mouth shall speak what is of truth. Your mouth shall speak what set free. Your mouth shall speak what saves. Your mouth shall speak what deliver. Your mouth shall speak what give life. What give life. That's why Apostle Paul was able to give life. That's why Apostle Paul was able to do all things because he welcomed, he believed, he adhered to, he trusted. When he was hunger, he trusted in the Father. When there was no shelter, he trusted in the Father. When they were persecuting him, he trusted in the Father. When he was called names, he trusted in the Father. When it was time in Galatians 2 for him to even follow his brothers who were there with the Father before him. He will, his brothers that were with the father before him, when it was time for him to also behave like them, he chose not to. He chose not to. He even go, he went as far as rebuking them to say, no, this is not the way of the father. This is not what we've received from the father. Hey, do not do. Don't be like hypocrites. Do not be like hip hypocrites. When situation come now, you mind yourself with the unfaithfulness. When situation come now, you run with to the unfaithful. Why are you running to the unfaithful? You know that their ways does not please God. Yet, you find yourself having an entanglement with them because you think by doing that, you will be relieved from those trouble. Who told you that trouble will be relieved through that act? Who 
told you that trouble will be taken from you through that way? Do you not know the way to the Father is the word, the Christ that is in you? Because it says Christ in you is the hope of glory. So where is your hope? Where is the Christ in you? Now you are running to the unbelievers. You are running to the unfaithful. Now how would you now see the faithfulness of the Father when you yourself have made a decision to run away from the Father, when you yourself have made a conscious decision to run with the unfaithfulness, how will the faithfulness of the Father be seen in you? How will the goodness of the Father be seen in you? But hey, we are saved to save others. The ones that you are running to, have they saved? Do they believe the report? Do they accept the report? So instead of your ways to change them, to transform them, you find yourself you find yourself doing what Apostle Paul spoke of in Romans 12. He said, do not conform. Do not conform to their ways. Do not conform to their ways. But instead, be renewer. And how can you renew? Meditation. Meditating on the word. Because the word is given. He said, I can do all things. Have you confessed that word? Do you profess that word? Do you meditate on that word? Because if you can do all things, it's a reality that you are calling. Now the reality will come to pass. Apostle Paul was not only to do all things if he was not meditating in the things of the God, if he was not meditating in the word of the Lord, if he was not in the word, because the word is in him. So he was meditating on the word. He was in constant meditation. That's why, that's why he was able to do all things. In the first of predicaments, in the first of challenges, he was working on it. He was not fearful. He was not afraid. There was no frightness before him. He was in Christ. So he has already overcome because the Christ in him is the hope of of glory. So look at this. He says, he says, verse 7, Isaiah 45. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace, national well-being, and I create physical evil, calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. I am the Lord who does all these things. Now go to John, John, John chapter 8. John chapter 8. John chapter 8. Now. Verse 12. Once more, Jesus addresses the crowd. He said, I am the light of this world. Hey, 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 listen to that. Listen to that. I am the light of this world. Hey, he said, he who follows me. Hey, hey, he who follows me. Not unbelievers, not unfaithfulness, not unrighteousness. He said, he who follows me. We'll not be walking in the dark. We'll not be walking in the dark. But we are the light, which is life. Now, now, we heard it in John 1. Hmm? John 1 verse 4. So it's the light that, 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 that gave light. Okay, the same John. Let's quickly go to John 1 verse 4. So that we'll read this. We'll read this. Now, listen. Verse 4. It says, in him was life, and the life was the light of men, the purpose. God intended purpose. God intended purpose. Many are running, escaping themselves from God intended purpose. So you are running away from the purpose of the master. You are running away from the purpose of God because you could not bear, because it's too much, because the heat is too much, because the trouble is too much. I cannot take it. I can no longer take it. I can no longer bear it. So you are running away from the plan of God. Whereas you are the light, whereas you are the light, you are to illuminate, you are to illuminate, to shine. The light is burning to shine. Why is the light spreading to shine? What is causing the light not to shine? What is causing the light in you that is not shining? Why? 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 Ask yourself this question. Why is the light not shining? God, why is this light not shining? God, why is this light not shining? Ask yourself such a question. Why is the light not shining? Now, go back to verse 12, um, chapter 8, verse 12. It says now, once more, Jesus addressed the crowd. Matthew 5, remember, he called us. We are the light of this world. Now, he says now, once more, Jesus addresses the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not be walking in the dark, but we are the light which is life, which is life. Now, where upon the Pharisees told him, you are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid and is worthless. Now, who testify on our behalf? Romans 8. It said the spirit 
testifies on our behalf. The spirit testifies on our behalf. So how now, where does this spirit come in now? Where does this spirit come in? We we'll thank our father, Papa Lesiko, then who has been revealing the mystery of Holy Spirit given to the believers, the followers of Christ. The followers of Christ given to the believers. In John 14, verse 12, Jesus said, if you believe in me, just as Isaiah said, who has believed our message, Jesus is saying, asking us, speaking to us, telling us, if we believe in him, great work I did. Even greater you would do because it's the same light, the same light. So accomplishment grows. Accomplishment grows. You don't listen. A, 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 um, a building or a builder that is founded in the world does not fail, does not decay. It grows, it grows, it blossoms, it grows, it continues to grow. It continues to grow as long as the firm foundation is rooted in the world. It grows. It does not wither. It does not die. The world, you see, the world cannot fail. So it does not wither. It grows, it develops, it blossoms, it gives it give lives. Now, verse 14, Jesus answered, even if I do testify on my own behalf, my testimony is true and reliable and valid. Why is he saying this? Now I say, for I know where I came from. Hey, I know where you come from. Once you believe, you are his. Now, now it says in the same John again, John 14, John 15, and John 16, and even John 17. He says there, if you believe me, you are my own. Now, so he knew where he came from. He knew that he was from the Father. He knew that he was from the Father. And the Father is in him. So he knew where he come from. And you know that the Holy Spirit of the Father is at will. At will, meaning at work. At will and at work. So now, get this. Get this. You are a believer. You believe him. Now, where is the gift of the Holy Spirit? Remember, Jesus laid a foundation for us to follow, which Apostle Paul all wrote about, and he lived it. So he did not only write about what he was given. Remember, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, uh, 11 and also 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 2. 1 Corinthians 2, 1 Corinthians 6. Uh, the message in all of it, even 1 Corinthians 11 also, the message was not something that he was told. It was given to him. So when Isaiah was speaking, it was revealed to him. It was revealed. Write this. Write this. So, because Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the old times, in the old days, God used to come to the prophet through in by the world. Through in by the world. So, the world, the Christ, the vision came to Isaiah, revealed this is God's plan for his people, for Christ's remnant. But now, who will believe? Who will believe? Uh, Your believing. Equates you to receive the gift of Holy Spirit. Your idea to, your trusting, your relying in the world equates you to work with the Holy Spirit of the Father. Because it says now, it says the Holy Spirit, whom the world do not know. And how and why does the world do not know? Because he came first to his own. John 1. He came to his own. Verse 11. His own did not receive him. His own did not receive him. Because now, uh, uh, you, you know, um, preachers, pastors, reverend, bishops, pope, many began to say there is no such thing as Holy Spirit because they who are well versatile, well knowledge in the, in the scriptures, well knowledge with the scriptures. I'm, t- I'm talking about people who can tell you from Genesis to Revelation, even what me, I do not know in the Bible. They know it very well. But now, they could not see the manifestation of what they are reading in times of the Holy Spirit. 
in times of the Holy Spirit, with, the, with, with receiving of the Holy Spirit, there are no shortcuts. There are no manipulation. You can, you can have option, as Christian does. Maybe if this does not work out, I will fall into that. No, there is no such thing in Christ. There is no thing that I will fall into this plan. If this plan did not work out, I will run with this plan. If this plan does not uh, 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 unfold to me. No. He says, your adhere to. That is your one and only. Your relied on. Your, your one and only. Your believed in. Your one and only. Now, if all of this is not met, how then can you receive the promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit? How then can you now manifest the word that you read? Because now, the word of God is alive. Hebrews 4 verse 12 is active. It's full of power and authority, the word of God. How then you read the word of God, there is no life in it. How then you read the word of God, there is no manifestation in it. How then you read the word of God, there is no, there is, there is no testimony. The Holy Spirit is not testifying on your behalf. Meaning, if you are to examine yourself, you have not given yourself in true and worship because God is spirit. In order for the services, the things of God to be made known in your life and to be made known to you, you must come to him in truth and spirit. In truth and spirit. The spirit there is believing. Oh, heartily, giving yourself to the word. The truth is a standing you stand on the word. That's the truth. You stand on the word. So what does the word say? What does the word say? The word says, let the, let, the, let the poor say I am rich. The word says, let the sick say I am you. But yet, you are confessing poverty. You are con confessing sickness. You, you are confessing trouble. You, you are confessing weakness. I, I, I got this weakness. How can you, a child of God, say I got this weakness? Nullifying the grace. Nullifying the grace. Now, let's go back to John 1. Let's go back to John 1. Nullifying the grace. Nullifying the grace. Because of what? Because of your unbelief. Because of your unfaithfulness, you nullify the grace. Now, verse 14. Listen to this. And the word, Christ, became flesh. The word, the word, the word, the word, the word that says, I. I am the Lord who does all these things. The one that formed the light, the one that creates darkness, and there are two things there. Form the light, then create, because from, from now listen to this mystery here now. From the light comes from the, from the speaking word. From the light come from, came from the speaking word. The light can never be created. I refuse anyone to say, I, eh, even though um, people create globe and these things. No, it's not the true light. It's not the true light because if it, 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 it is controlled with switch. If you press the switch, it goes off. It goes off. Let anyone try to create cloud. The cloud that brings the light. Try, scientists. We, try. Create this cloud. I, I, I can't know you've been creating, creating, creating. Create cloud first. Let's see something. Create moon, you want to see, I want to see something. Create sun, I want to see something. Create sun, create moon, I want to see something. So now, now listen. True light is not in creation. It was formed. And how does this form it came with the, the spoken word? In Genesis 1, God spoke, let there be light. Immediately, light illuminates. Now, let us make a man. Now, it came with the hand of God. It came with God's hand to create man out of the soil. So, this all darkness was a creation. Creation. But you, you are carrying the authority that creates and formed to make and to disengage. Meaning, 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 meaning. The word that has been entrusted to you, the word that is living in your heart, the word 
that has been given to you personally so, it is meant to be spoken. It is meant to be spoken. It is meant to be spoken. Now, listen. John 1 verse 14. And the word Christ became flesh, human incarnate. And tabernacled, meaning is in us. That's why Matthew 6, when we, when we refer to it, he said, go into your most holy sacred, the kingdom of the world. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost is in you. So pray to him. Present yourself. He knows what you are going through. He knows your situation. He knows your trouble. He knows what stands, what stands against you. He knows it. He knows it. Don't try to do it on your own without first presenting it before him. You run into businesses, you run into career, you run into a, 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 a relationship without not first presenting it, meaning you dishonor his presence in you, meaning you dishonor his unfailing glory, meaning you dishonor his truth and spirit because you did not present it before him, even though he's aware. Yes, he knows he's aware, but you are also expected to speak. You are also expected. Matthew 7, verse 7, say, ask. Ask. Seek. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Gena. Go, 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 Gena. Say, go, 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 Gena. Taking my mind back to where we used to worship in 2019. Okay. Get to the door. Go, 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 Gena. I'm just, hey. Ah, wonderful. Now, he says, ask, you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it will be open. Because he is in you. He's expected, meaning you are giving honor. You are giving honor. Remember, the Holy Spirit of God is a no respecter of any man's position. If you rely upon him, if you trust in him, you take your trouble into your most holy inner place. And where he, is, he has tabernacled in your heart. Now, present to him, then in the open, in the open, you see him rewarding you. Try this, try this, try this, because you must put the teaching of Jesus Christ, our glorious master, into practice. It says, put it into practice. What did Apostle Paul say? He said, and the God of peace, the God of peace, who spoke to Jeremiah, asking him, what is it that you see, Jeremiah? Because God will not come down to do what he has already done. Jeremiah said, I see a branch of olive tree blossoming, growing. Ah, you have seen well. For I am watching, now listen to this. I am watching to see that I perform my word. So while you are asking, trusting God, now God says, oh, this is a temple that, that I'm living in. Trust me, pleases me. He does not trust on anyone. See, I said, God is a jealous God. If you give the trust that belongs to God and you share God trust with anybody, hey, it will be difficult for you to receive from God. That's just his truth. I know it's hard, but it's truth. So make sure that, hey, this one, get this. Abraham, listen to what Abraham did. Abraham refused to share his trust, the trust of God. He refused to share. When, when the king of Sodom approached him and said, hey, this, this is good. Give this to me. No, 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 no. No, I trust in whom I'm giving to. I trust in whom he was yet to see. He was yet to see the Lord, but yet he trusted in the Lord to say, this belongs to God. I'm not going to share. I'm not going to share what belongs to him with you. Let you stay. You now make it because now, Tomorrow, the same person you share your trouble with, the same person will stand and say, I'm the one who will make him to be there. Now, you are making the word of the Lord to become noise and void in your life. Because who is taking the glory? Is it God or is it man? A being will come and say, I'm the one who, hey, yeah, yeah all these things he's doing, I'm the one who pay for it. Yeah, I'm the one who, he's where he is because of me. And it's due to because of you trusting in human sacrifice. Not, not trusting in the atonement sacrifice which God did for us by his son, Jesus Christ. 
Because when Jesus Christ said it is finished, all things is indeed finished in our life. Now, verse 14, John 1. And the world, Christ, became flesh, human incarnate, and tabernacle, fixed his tent of flesh, lived a while. Remember John 8 that we read from, I am the light. Hey, if you follow, hey, you will not walk in darkness. You will not walk in darkness. So, now, in darkness, what do we find in darkness? People get humili humiliated. People get shamed. People get shamed. People get lost. People get troubled. These are the things that are found in darkness. These are the things that are found in darkness. A lot of these killing, stealing, destroying. These are the things that are found in created things, things that was created. Now, if you walk with the light, though you'll be seen, but see if if does if that created trouble can touch you. Before no weapon of the enemy form fashion done against you cannot prevail. Before you get to that level, you must be and live in the light. See, tabernacle in, in, in you. That is a message that, that uh, uh, Isaiah was asking who would believe our message. Isaiah was speaking, he was written that chapter 54. Based on what he saw in 53, it didn't just write. It didn't just write. You need to read uh, 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 the intercession message, uh, Isaiah 54. You take it from, from verse 1 to the end. It's from 1 to 17. You need to read and get what made him to say, you will not walk in shame. You will not be humiliated. You, you, no weapon formed against you shall prevail by you. No, because you are in the light. You are in the light. You are above. You are above limitation. You are above consequences. You are above situation. How, how, how else was Apostle Paul was able to say this? That I have known and received in Philippians 2. He said, I have received the secret mystery of making it. I have received the secret mystery of making it. I have, I have no how to come out of any predicament. Because I go into my most holy sacred place, just as Jesus taught, showed to us. I go and I present. Now, 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 to, to make this as an example. Today, you must take your prayer request. Take your prayer request as it is written or as it is in your heart, or as it is in your mind. You take it now today, and you enter. You enter. Let no one see you. Let not your brother, your sister, your children, your, uh, your friend, your relatives, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, your auntie, your uncle, your father, your mother. Let no one interfere with you. As you go into your most holy sacred place, you shut the door. You are trusting the Father. You present all you have before him. And you say, Father, it is in your hand that I am, Lord. I am in your hand, Lord God Almighty. My trust is in you. I adhere to your word. Forgive me if I have done against you. Forgive me if I have done against you. Now, you say this confession. You present all things before him with thanksgiving your heart because that thanksgiving is a reflection of saying father I thank you for what you have done for me on the cross father I thank you for what you have done for me on the cross because he has finished it and in the open you will see the reward of your prayer God answers God is God, the truth is God is waiting for you to ask so they can perform I am waiting so I'm, I'm, look, I'm look, waiting but people are not asking and if they ask they ask I miss you ask Camis because your heart is filled with all kinds of conditions. Your heart is filled with all kinds of resolve issues. Your heart is filled with all kinds of offenses. Your heart is filled with all kinds of unforgiveness. Your heart is filled with all kinds of unbelief. The heart that is filled with unforgiveness, the heart that is filled with offenses, you have been hit with offense. You have been hit with unbelief. You, I mean, and in Galatians 4, uh, Galatians 5 to say, uh, verse 7, he said, you were doing so well before. What, what interferes? What has interferes? What interferes? You were doing so well before in believing. Even though you do not see yet you believe, you are okay. There's, there was contentment. 
there was satisfaction. Now, what has interferes? 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 Hmm? What has interferes? Now, listen to this. And the word Christ became flesh, human incarnate, and tabernacled, fixed his tent of flesh, lived a while among us. And we actually saw his glory, his honor, his majesty. Such glory as an only begotten son receives from the father, full of grace, favor, loving kindness, and truth. You see, such glory, underline that word. The such glory as an only begotten son receives from his father, full of grace. Now, Colossians 1, verse 19. It pleases the father to allow the son to receive the fullness. Now, John 17, here we are. Here we are. The father presenting us, Jesus Christ, our master, saying, Father, here they are. Those whom you have given to me, I did not ask for them to be taken away, for them to be taken out from this world, but for them to remain. Oh, Father, that they may be glorified. That they may be glorified. He said, glorify me as I glorify uh, now. Meaning, 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 listen to this word. Meaning, the presentation that Jesus did on our behalf in John 17. Listen to it here now. I'm going to read again now, from the beginning now. John 1 verse 14. And the word Christ became flesh. He was among us, among the disciples. They saw him. They saw him. Human incarnate. They saw him. Tabernacle fixed his tent. They saw him. His tent of flesh. Lived a while. Lived a while among us. And we actually saw his glory, his honor, his majesty. Such glory as an only begotten son receives. As an only begotten son receives. As an only begotten son receives, receives as an only begotten son, receives for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe will not perish, will not perish. Jesus did not perish. So you that receive the begotten son, you will not perish. But what would you have if you do, if you will not perish? He said you will have everlasting life. You will have everlasting life. You will have everlasting life. He said, you that you are in him, you will not perish, but have everlasting life. And what, what is everlasting life? Internal life. What is internal life? To know God. To know God. I'm watching to see that I perform my word. Now, now listen. His honor, his majesty, such glory as an only begotten son. So are you the begotten son? Receives from this father, full of grace, full of grace. So grace to overcome, grace to create, grace to, 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 to stand tall, grace to, to remain, grace to confess his word daily, grace to meditate his word, favor where there are no uh, uh, favor, meaning where there are uh, uh, have you ever begun to see yourself? Uh, somebody will say, hey, man, I did not merit this, but I don't know how I get it. No, when God's favor comes upon you, what you did not work for begin to fall on your lap. What you didn't ask for begin to fall on your lap. So get to that level. Instead of murmuring, instead of crying, instead of uh, feeling bad, uh, feeling bad about yourself, get to that level where even the things you do, because God knows you. Jeremiah 1 verse 16, I knew you before I formed you. I knew you before I formed you. I knew you before I formed you. I knew you before I formed you, God said. Now, get to that level where God says, I knew you. Where, before you ever ask, before you ever seek, before you ever knock, the things begin to fall. Meaning, as you think, you, God is thinking, you are thinking with God. Because we are layers of his mind. So as you think of something that you need to do, a project that you need to do, a, 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 things that needed to be done, things that needed your attention, as you think God is ma making, God makes sure. Because God is watching to see that he's performing his word. God is watching to see that he's performing his word. May the King of Glory be with you tonight, uh, this afternoon, blessed saint. As you have heard this word, we believe that the Spirit of the Lord has communicated to your heart. Uh, let me just finish uh, with verse 16 there. He said, for out of his fullness, out of his fullness abundancy, we have received all 
all we have received all had a share and we were all supplied with one grace after another and spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing and even favor upon favor and gift gift upon gift. So favor upon favor shall be your portion this week. Gift upon gift shall be your portion this week. Uh, uh, grace upon grace shall be your portion this week. Uh, you will not fail. The grace of the Lord upon your life will not fail. You will continue to grow as the world grow as a tender shoot. Nothing will interfere in your relationship with the King of Glory. Nothing will interfere with your businesses, with your career, with your education. As you continue to declare the world over all the learners, learners, you are free from failures. You are set free from anxiety. The grace of the Lord Almighty is upon you. We declare spirit of excellency, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. As you go, you go and write, you go and possess your position. Nothing shall interfere with you. You are more than a conqueror. You are above failure. You are above setback. You are above disappointment. God loves you. God is with you. Uh, blessed say, we are, are going to uh, pray a uh, prayer of uh, uh uh, salvation right now and we are going to declare uh the word uh, as we as we were going off here right now uh so if you have not known the lord uh let's just say it is important for one uh to uh give his or her life to christ uh give yourself to him just as he first gave himself to us and giving himself to us is we surrendering ourselves to him uh so uh right now i, I see on Zoom, we have a uh, uh, we have uh, uh, someone here uh, uh, who is our brother uh, in the Lord. Uh, our brother, we are from the same father. Uh, I see evangelist, uh, evangelist Michael. Uh, I'm going to uh, humbly request that she uh, lead us into a prayer of salvation. I see also Maggie Bash there. Uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Bless viewers. Uh, we are not known by name but we are known uh we are known by uh, uh uh by love because love the love of the father we are knitted by the love of the father so i'm just gonna ask ask uh, the beautiful spirit of my father to kindly uh lead us into our prayer of salvation over to you thank you, thank, thank you thank you so much thank you my Let's father Thank you, my father. Greetings, viewers. It is a, a privilege and an opportunity. I was not expecting to speak. <laughs> I came to fellowship. Thank you, my father. Let's close our eyes and let's lift our eyes as we are about to accept the Lord and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Say after me, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be, be, be the Lord of my life. Forgive my Amen. sins. Forgive my sins. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. Thank you for being the for, for dying for me on the cross. Thank you for taking away my shame. Thank you for taking the sicknesses and diseases. I acknowledge your lordship in my life. Rest upon me. Be the Lord. Be the king of all. I accept I, I and I acknowledge your lordship. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus, to God with the glory. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my Amen. Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I love you so much. I love you so much when she said that she was not expecting this. Uh, <laughs> she's the it's, it's, it's the same fellowship. Uh, it's the same fellowship. We remain one in the heart of the Father. Uh, so it is yeah. well. We thank you so much. Uh, we thank you so much, uh, uh Michael. Thank you so much. Uh, blessed viewers, you can also follow our page, it's True Shepherd Ministries. Uh, you'll find that there. Uh, it's the same word, the same word. We are we are of the same father, we share the same DNA, uh, we share uh, the same spiritual knowledge. Uh, we thank God for this wonderful oneness, uh, oneness from above. Uh, we declare right now over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week, may the King of Glory goes ahead of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every Amen. crooked pathway before you be strengthened, be lifted Amen. out from all marriage, be lifted out from all evil trap, evil snail used against you 
evil oh. weapon of darkness, evil creation used against you right now. The light, the light of God set you free. You. The glory, the unfailing glory of the Father that is in you right now continue to shine, continue to lift you up, continue to lift you out of darkness, from out of evil plot. No evil schemes shall lay, shall lay before you. No evil schemes shall prevail over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for your body right now. We pray for your health to be restored right now. Every evil pains, evil projection, evil projection yeah. used against you, evil okay. deeds, evil works used against you, evil costs raised against you right now. We nullify every evil heart, every evil heart, every evil of creation heart used against you. We nullify their deeds from your life. We nullify their work from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare over your life right now that no weapon of the enemy form against you, no weapon of the enemy used against you will prevail over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cover your life with the precious prevailing blood of the Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in your going, you are blessed in your coming. We cover your offices, we cover your desk, we cover your classroom, we cover your business arena, your business centers, your business shops. We cover everywhere with the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray right now, no evil set against you. We we, we have any ins inside against you, but we declare you untouchable. You are overcoming every plan. You are overcoming every limitation. You are overcoming every failure. No failure shall seize your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. You'll be blessed. you remain blessed. God loves you. God is with you. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us clap for the Father. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So, uh, listen, viewers, we'll meet again tomorrow. God willing, we'll meet again tomorrow. God willing. Uh, I, 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 okay, yes, I saw, I saw, I saw uh, Maggie Bash there. Yeah? I saw Maggie Bash. Yeah? She's going to take us off air. Maggie Bash, uh, they, I'm giving the, the <laughs> back thing to you. No, so so you take us off air. It is the God be the glory. You're going to take us off air. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, my father. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. You know, I, I think in South Africa, I'm here. I'm here. You know, my sister, my sister. I was here for my sister. Somebody is here. You know, we live. We, we, we are celebrating. We are joyful. Amen. 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 We take us off there uh, by saying to God be the glory. We are giving you. We are giving you that uh, honor. We are giving it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. We just thank God, viewers all over the world. We say, God be with you. The grace of God is sufficient for you. The grace, 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 blessings upon you. We thank you. We thank you, Father, our Father, for the wonderful words. We hope that uh, all the viewers are going to meditate about the message of God. Once you meditate, you become the doers of the way. Thank you very much. Let's clap hands for our Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes, Mr. Chris.